kooky witch. Okay, so this is kind of part two of my cranberry juice. So I've I've boiled this. First I pureed it, broke it down in my blender into kind of a, whoopsie, don't want to have that go in there, um, into a sort of a pureed consistency. And I'm just getting all the juice out of this because I'm going to make cranberry juice, homemade cranberry juice. Mm, yum. So the best way to, I think, activate the cranberries and all the good stuff in cranberries is to cook it. So I cooked it for about an hour, just on a really slow, slow boil. So I'm just going to finish doing this and then I'll come back. Okay, so next step on my cranberry juice is I've got it all in this big bowl here. And what I'm going to do is put it in my blender. So I'm just ladling it out of this big bowl. I'm making a bit of a mess, but that's okay. It's all going to be worth it, this beautiful cranberry juice. And I've also got cranberry apple uh, jam on right now as well that I'm using my, the pulp from the juice. Okay, and so look at that. Isn't that incredible? I am not going to add much to this. I am only going to add some maple syrup to it and I don't really know how much this is an organic maple syrup um, I don't know maybe like a quarter of a cup or so and I'm just gonna so what I'll do is like when I go to pour it for myself I'll add lemon or other things to it if I want to add my kefir to it I can so I'm just gonna blend this things on the go here so let me just mm, that tastes mm. it's really good I can I can sweeten that more if I want to but I think for right now I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this so next step Pouring it into the container. Look at this incredible homemade organic cranberry juice. Okay, and voila! Organic cranberry juice. Pretty beautiful medicine you don't need a lot of it like a shot will do you probably a couple times a day all right hope you've enjoyed this version of making homemade organic cranberry juice from the kooky witch <laughs>